what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to forza horizon 5 here in the winter season of series number seven we're driving around in our hennessy velociraptor that we unlocked in the last video by doing the weather perfect seasonal championship um, if you haven't seen that definitely go check it out if you want to uh, but today we're going to be jumping into the other seasonal championship, and that is the off-road tour. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you can see our reward is going to be the Illumicraft C10 racing buggy. And our class restrictions today are B-Class 700 and unlimited buggies. So I've got three of those set up and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at our races, and then we'll jump in to the first race and that first buggy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what races we've got here. So circuit race, sprint or scramble, and another circuit race. All right, here we go with the San Juan scramble and we're jumping into the 2011 Pinhall Vichola buggy to start it out. So. Up on the screen, you'll see the share code for the tune, the name of the tune, the name of the tuner, and then some additional details about the tune being all-wheel drive, and we're using stock tires, but I think it counts them as off-road. So um, that'll be up on the screen there. I am trying out a new way of showing you guys that information, so definitely let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you do miss any of the share codes for the tunes, they will be in the description below as well. So check those out. Um, we're not getting too hot right now in our tin hall. Uh, but see if we can't catch up a little bit through here. Um, trying this out. Um, and I am going to use three different buggies today um, just because I want to show you guys some different options that can be used. It should be noted that you do not have to use three different buggies when you do it. You can do one buggy if you find one that works out well for you. Just use that for all three of the races. I'm using three just to show you guys different options that can be used. Um, unfortunately, there's not too many unlimited buggies that fit that B-Class restriction. So we are going to be using the Illumicraft um, in the last event as well. It's kind of counterproductive to use the car that you unlock in one of these events um, but some people have it I've got a few of them in my garage so um, you know just so that I can give all the options available so just stuff like that but let's see if we can't get past a few more of these gravitars on the second lap that we know how this drives a little bit better kind of climbing the places now if you guys do find a different car or tune for these championships that does work out better, definitely let us know down below in the comments. I make these videos to, you know, show different things that can be used to help everybody. I'm not saying that, you know, this is the end all be all of cars that you can use. Um, I just try to use the most accessible cars um, to make it easy on people that maybe haven't been playing the game as long or just to make it cheaper on everybody that has been playing the game so we're up into third we've got two more positions to go and we've got one more lap this buggy does not seem to be as fast as i would like it to be but it is keeping pace we are um you know catching on this later half which is good to see Kind of whipping around a little too hard around there, but uh, we'll see if we can't get past um, these two positions on this final lap. Important thing about the seasonal championships too is you do not have to come in first place in all three of these races. Um, it is points based, so you get points based off of where you finish in the three races, and you just have to have more points at the end of the three races than all of the drivers are. So. You don't necessarily want to come in last because you get very little points, but you do not have to come in first place for every race. And we may be seeing um, a good example of that here if we cannot catch up to first. Here. Can't use the brakes a little bit. No. That was probably a mistake. Probably should have, should have tried to slide around that corner a little bit, but 
Um, currently, I'm not too thrilled with this pin haul, so um, hopefully we'll have better options in the other two um, buggies. I think this is a Lumicraft up in front of us, so that might be a better option. Um, but again, kind of counterproductive to use the vehicle that you're going to win in the event, but sometimes, you know, kind of has to be that way. So, um, I would say do not be scared of bumping in or using Drivatars in these seasonal events. Um, if you can, I would do it. Use it to your advantage, but we took a second place there. Again, that's fine. Um, we just need to make sure we can beat out whoever was in first in points as we go through. So BioZ, we have to make sure that we can beat them in points going forward. So you can see we got 16 points for coming in second and first place got 20. If I hit continue, this is the championship leaderboard and we'll see a little bit better of that after the second race. So let's go ahead and jump into that and we'll swap out our cars into the next buggy. All right, here we go. The PO. Yeah, that scramble. Um, and we're jumping into the 2018 Exomotive Exoset off-road. And as with the last race, the share code for the tune, along with the tuner's name and name of the tune, will be up on the screen now. And let's see what this little Exoset can do. It's a lot lighter, a lot less of a presence. But I'm hoping we can be quick and nimble and just kind of jump, jump around these turns as we are doing. Um, pretty good through here. Keeping up with this, we're right on its tail. Off a little bit, hit brakes. And we are looking good. Climbing through these positions pretty quick. Debating on, I don't know if we'll be better on-road or off-road. This thing is essentially just a go-kart, so. We do have off-road tires on it, though. That's gonna, like, decrease some of our grip on the road. We are passing the pinhole slightly. Um, we took that turn rather quick. I probably didn't need to brake at all. I barely brake, used the brake, but let off the gas more than anything. I probably could just take that flat, so. Thing. That, okay, there, maybe not that, but it got back onto the road. <laughs> Um, but we're up into first and looking good. So that's one lap down. Um, I think what I might do, keep this video short, um, is kind of skip towards the end of the race since we've already done a lap on this circuit. Um, and then if anything interesting or funny happens during the race, I'll definitely come back in. But I'll see you guys here in just a second. Okay, we're gonna jump back in here. We're on the last lap. This thing is definitely 100% better than the Chola, in my opinion. We can take this turn completely flat. Didn't let off the gas, didn't hit the brakes, just turned into it. This thing is actually really good through this circuit. Um, I am imagining that it would be really good on the other circuit as well, but this one's a little bit tighter. For here, I just hit the brakes a little bit. Um, I stayed on the gas that entire time, but we have an absolute killer gap on the drive hard. so in my opinion I would just pass up the Chola and use this um, but we still have one more buggy to try out and that is the Alumi Craft um, and as you can see here we got 20 points um, the person who did that bio Z who did come in first on that first race did come in third so we have a little bit better of a gap there um, but if I hit continue, we can see we're at 36 points. They are at 34. We'll go ahead and jump into our last race, jump into the Illumicraft, and see if it's any better than the Exoset or the Pinhaul. All right, here we go with the Tulum Trial. So this isn't a circuit race, this is a sprint. And again, we're jumping into the Illumicraft. So the share code for the tune, along with the tuner's name, will be up on the screen and the name of the tune as well. Um, so we'll see what this thing can do and if it's any better than the other two. This has a better speed statistic 
I can't remember if the top speed was better than the other two though. Um, but we'll see how it does through this trial event. Definitely has pretty good brakes. Stop like that on the asphalt. They are wheel to wheel with AR-12 Nick. Up into fourth. Got three positions to go. We need to beat BioZ for sure. Um, if we come in second place to him, then it would be a tie. And I'm not necessarily sure how the championship handles a tie. Because um, we would technically be tied first. But I'd rather just beat him and not have to worry about that. Whoa, that was weird. He like bounced off of something that kind of shot us out the front of him. But nonetheless, we'll take that. We are up in front as we go through the swamp. This thing does feel really good. Um, I hate to recommend this as the best of the three that I've used. Um, just because it is the car that you win or the vehicle you win. Um, but if you have it, I would use it. If you don't have it, and you've got the Exoset, I would use the Exoset. If you don't have either of those, um, I honestly would not spend money on the Chola. I would see if you can't get this off the auction house pretty cheap. It's a pretty common vehicle, um, though I would imagine that they'd be decently cheap on the auction house. I could be mistaken, but um, I would just recommend this if you've got it. The Exoset if you don't and you have it, or if you don't have any of these, I would try using the Chola unless you find a pretty good tune for it. I'm not saying the tune I used was bad, it just didn't feel like it had the depth that it needed to. Um, but this thing feels really good to drive through here. So, again, this would be my recommendation. This with this tune on it seems like a winning combination to me. It would probably be pretty balanced through all three of those races. The Exoset might struggle a little bit on this race with top speed. It was hitting like 112 on the road. Which I guess this is hitting one. Like it, it's not a wide enough gap for us to hit that high. Um, but it may struggle a little bit, so. But we are going to take the victory on race number three in our Illumi Craft. That'll get us 20 points and solidify us as first place on the championship leaderboard. So if I hit continue, if you do lose this last race, this is just the race podium behind us so don't worry about that if you hit continue and you do win the championship it should give you that reward still so there we go there is the Illumi Craft C10 race buggy and that's where we'll end it off stay in our current Illumi Craft so we don't have to pull out the other one but I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful if you did either definitely leave a like on the video definitely get subscribed for future forza horizon 5 content just like this i will have the rest of the festival playlist videos posted throughout the day so definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for those um, the trial event and the weather perfect cross country seasonal championship should already be out on the channel um, so if you need help with either of those definitely go check out those videos but other than that, I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we will catch you in the next video.